Now, Mr McAllister is a member of Angela Merkel's Christian Democratic Union. Very good morning to you. Um, now, are you secretly a little bit pleased that this puts the UK into a weaker negotiating position? Because currently we're not quite sure who even is going in to negotiate. Good morning from Brussels. Well, this is obviously not exactly what the Prime Minister and the Conservatives expected. But from a European point of view, we're very clear the UK needs a stable government which is able to take decisions sooner than later because the Brexit negotiations have to start. The clock is ticking for the United Kingdom and we're losing very valuable time. Well, can you just give us an idea of the timetable? Article 50 has been triggered. We know that means that there's two years. Is there um, any leeway? Because currently, forgive us, we've got a little bit of a mess over here. Well, you're talking to someone who strongly believes that the United Kingdom would be better off in the European Union. I believe Brexit is a historic mistake, but I have to respect the decision of the British people. We're running out of time. The Prime Minister triggered Article 50, end of March, and if the member states don't agree with the UK to continue the negotiations, that means the UK will have to have left the European Union by March 2019. So we have to conclude the negotiations on a technical level in October 2018 because we need time to get the agreement in the national governments and in the European Parliament. So that's why we are very interested in starting these negotiations before the summer break. The European Union is well prepared with Michel Barnier and his team, but of course it takes two to tango. If the UK is not able of starting the negotiations, we'll just have to wait. OK, so there's no particular uh, deadline for beginning and uh, if negotiations didn't start in 10 days' time, then all, all of you over there well, I... just, just, you know, hold the coffee and, uh, and start it all a few days later? Well, I believe they should start sooner than later and I think that the 19th of June would be a good date to begin these negotiations, but obviously you need a stable government in the UK to take important decisions. Perhaps the negotiations can start, but we won't be going far the first few weeks. Look, we're running out of time, and this is negative for the United Kingdom because a lot is at stake. And, I mean, the referendum was in June 2016. We're now a year later, and we still haven't started the negotiations. Uh, this should be in the British interest and not only in our interest. All right, David McAllister.